his first one. That didn't feel too bad. He's going to make a little bit more of a jump this time. He's going to go to 215. He gets his three at 215. Let's say he goes to 230. Jumps up 15 pounds for three more. He gets those, but that last one, that last rep, is a little bit tough. So he's put a star by it. He thinks, all right, he's still got his singles to do, so he's not going to go overboard here. He got those, but they were tough. Here's what you can do. If you can't go up every time, that's all right. He's going to stay at this weight. He's going to do 230 one more time. Try to get three reps again. He gets them. They're still tough, but he gets them. All right, now today he's ready for singles. He may not get a PR today, which is personal record, his personal best. But he's going to see what he can do for singles today. All right. So he's going to jump on up. He knows he can get 245 for one. Boom, he knocks that one out. It went up, went up pretty well. It takes a good long time before the next one, a good two and a half minutes maybe. He's like, okay, I'm going to jump up 10. 255. Struggles with it, but gets it. That's great. He got it up. He didn't have to be, have, didn't have to get any help on it. So what's he do? He says, well, might as well give it a shot. May not get it because he did struggle with that one. So he goes for just 260. That's fine, five pounds. It's, he's still going up. He tries it. He gets it or he doesn't get it. We don't even know. But doing this on a regular basis, you know, week in, week out, or every other week, doing your different lifts, this is a great strength progression. Three times five, three times three, three times one. Try it. See if you get stronger. I'm sure you will.